Welcome back, everyone, to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Uh, we've just started our battle on the new map, and we're being attacked by peasants. What? Peasants? Look at them all with their pitchforks. No! My entire force is being torn apart, and we lost. Thank you very much for the support on my last uh, episode. You guys smashed 10,000 likes, so here is your next episode. I said it, and here it is. If you guys want to see another episode, then, of course, just smash 10,000 likes again, and uh, you'll have one right in your subscription feed, ready for you. Uh, all right, so we're still fighting these peasants over here, and we've won. Excellent. So we're introduced to this new type of map. It's kind of like a bridge type thing, so it's definitely a choke point, and we're fighting a bunch of different types of enemies now. They're not quite the medieval period troops. They're kind of the in-between, from the Stone Age dudes to the medieval guys. Once we've actually defeated these, we'll be able to use them in our army. So that's going to be pretty cool. So we're against a few hay bales and we've got some potion throwers over here, which are pretty deadly, surprisingly. I'm not really sure what that what is effective against these hay bales. The hay bales mean that they take almost no ranged damage. So that's what we just got to think about here. All right. You know what? Let's chuck a couple of chieftains down and then a few clubbers. All right. I'm not I'm kind of just experimenting a little bit to see what happens. OK, so first up. Oh. Taking a lot of damage. These hay balers are extremely defensive. And we might have already lost everyone. Come on. They seem to... Oh! Okay, so they're getting confused by the potions. Oh, and they're dead. Oh, no. No, they're up. They keep going. Okay. Oh, one hit. Oh, wow. Okay, we might actually have this. I didn't actually think we would. Good job. Oh, okay. So now we're not on the bridge map anymore. Looks like a very defensive hay bale army with some peasants inside. Like I said, spear throwers pretty much useless against these. You know what? Let's use a mammoth. We've earned it. Let's try it. And then I guess just a couple of clubbers. I'm not really sure what's going to happen. So they're all kind of grouped up and they're spreading out. Great. Not what I was looking for. Come on, mammoth. Big hit here. Big hit. Whoa. Okay. Not too bad. And then these guys. Yeah! Mammoth! Oh, yeah! All right, some potion throwers. Ooh, now we're up against the Scyther people. Honestly, I feel like a mammoth wouldn't be too bad here. The Scythers are, they kind of swing around like crazy people. Uh, so we'll have to see how this goes. Oh, wait. Wait, no. Hidden hobbits in the bushes. That's not good. Those things are crazy because they just jump and get attached to everything. The Scythers have a ton of health, apparently. But I think they're dead over there. No, one of them's still alive. The mammoth is a bit confused. Oh. Oh. No, you got him? Come on. Come on. Come on. Spear. Throw him. Now. Well, I mean, what did I really expect? Mammoth versus Cypher. Who wins? The mammoth probably doesn't have a lot of health right now. So let's hope he can do this. Boom. Oh. Wait. He's attached. He's got him attached to his tusk. Oh, that's probably not good. Uh-oh. What is happening right now? Um... I actually think that the Cypher might win because my map... Oh, we won! Whew, for a second, I thought we had lost that. Ooh, and we did it! Okay, so we've actually progressed now past the Stone Age peeps. And now we're up against the, the medieval knight guys. So now we actually get to use the peasant army stuff, but we can't use the Stone Age stuff. So what do you think is the weakness with these knights? I'm not really sure. I guess maybe the har oh they're called harvesters. I was calling them ciphers. Let's try them. See how they are. All right. Good luck, guys. Whoa. Oh wow. I'm actually. Whoa. Whoa. Damn. We just tore them apart. Oh. They're playing music. What do you think the music does? Oh, okay. So these are the new levels of like spear throwers. Now that we're actually up against archers. So let's try a wheelbarrow. Um, and two potion sellers. Don't know why. We'll just try it. All right, good luck. Oh, gosh. Okay, my potion sellers died. Extre hey, hey, where are you going? Well, that was great. Yeah, you guys are doing solid. Actually, this might work. This might somehow work. All of these guys, archers are going to have to come down here to get them. And then we kill them as they come down. Oh, <gasps> No, we can. This would be amazing if we won this. Oh, my, another one. And the music guys are just falling off the map. Literally. Come on. No. No way. We are not going to win this. Another one off the map. One more left. 
Die, please. Guys, if you could just turn around a bit, that would be solid. All right, well, I have a feeling we're a bit of a stalemate here. So let's try again. What if we just have a bunch of hay balers who can take a ton of hits from the bows? Then we just have a bunch of halflings. I, I'm, I'm making up as I go along at this point. Whoa, okay. Hay balers took some good hits there. Halflings, attack. Do they even do damage? I'm not even sure. All right, this doesn't look too bad. Hay balers can take a lot of hits, apparently. We've only even we only lost two of them. But look at them. Look at the halflings attaching to everyone. Whoa, what is happening here? Oh, my goodness. No. Hey, 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 hey. Stop chasing those. Don't, don't chase them. Don't. Okay, thank you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Musician dude's playing a billion IQ move here. Hey, balers, be very careful. Okay, I think we did that. We done? Wait, who are you, what are you doing over here? Kill him, halfling! Kill them! You're punching the wrong direction. Oh, goodness. Got a bit of a, a pile up over here. I'm not sure they know what they're doing. The hey, baler dude is just stuck. Come on, do something! You just punched your friend! This is why you don't give a real job to a half-sized human. Okay, so that was obviously kind of working. I don't feel like the halflings did anything, though. Let's switch them to an army of farmers that kind of come in towards the end. Oh, we lost way more that round. That was not good. So do the musician dudes just try and lead them off of the map? It's like, is that literally their aim? That's actually like a billion IQ. I'm not even going to lie. That one musician just led almost all of my units off of the map. Is this the last one? At least we haven't got stupid halflings doing it. What are you doing? Finally, flip it. That took way too long. Okay. Uh, looks like we're in a bit more of an open battlefield now. Okay. So we've got a catapult and some knights. Now, we obviously know the one harvester can take out a ton of knights. So uh, that's good to know. Should we try out the scare? Wait, what are these? Yeah, scarecrew peeps this time around. Okay. Harvester. No, I didn't take that into account. Uh, that's my bad. Okay, scarecrows, send in the birds. Oh, wow, that was surprisingly effective. Okay, uh-oh. The king's here. That's not good. The king is one of the... I think he's the strongest unit that they have. Okay, so I think I'm going to start off with a front line of harvesters. They're very good in my books. And then we'll have a scarecrow at the back. And then a line of potion sellers. I, I'm making this up as I go along. Okay, so the king is being boosted, which I think gives him like uh, maybe unlimited health which I realize is actually a problem yeah this isn't going as I thought we need the birds to attack these dudes they're, they're giving him like unlimited health that's really not good okay well luckily our potion sellers are confusing the king but we're not really making any progress with killing these dudes scarecrow can you no where are you going okay yeah oh oh one more one more there we go. Okay. So now it's just the king who is very confused and walking around. Maybe the birds can get him. Come on, birdies. Oh, he is. He is confused right now. Hey, we did it. Whoa. All right. Now we're on to another new stage. So now we're up against sort of the Roman Greek dudes. So that means we now get access to that medieval squad. So that makes it interesting. So we've got a couple of sword... Oh, sorry, shield users and then spears. What is the best way to deal with them? Probably being able to get close is going to be the best thing that we can do over here. So let's just try and out-unit them and see where that goes. So we've pulled in a bunch of squires. And we're just going to try and defeat them with pure numbers. Because their shields aren't going to be super effective. And hopefully their spears aren't. Okay, we are getting torn apart. Oh, ouch. Yikes on that one. All right, well, that's not going to work, so we're going to have to think of something else. Would it be too much to consider two catapults? Not really sure. Okay, let's try this. Okay. Oh, my goodness. That was surprisingly effective. No way! I did not think that was going to happen. What if we did that again? Okay, and then we'll just have a squire at the back, just in case anyone sneaks through alive. All right, catapults. Let's do this. Come on. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. We are flying through this. Uh-oh. Now they've got their own things. Ballistas. Okay. What if we just put these there and then a couple of archers sort of spread out to finish it off? Because they're, they're, as long as we kill these groups, 
like that. The ballistas are never going to be able to kill each one of our archers. Okay, maybe they will. Uh-oh, let's see. Come on, archers. Get firing. Okay, that's one down. Oh, we've got this. Yeah, see, the ballistas can only kill like, one person at a time. There we go. Look at that. We're doing great. Uh-oh. Minotaurs. That's not good. That's actually terrible. I'm assuming a line of archers is going to be ineffective. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Archers, fire! Oh, my. That, <laughs> that minotaur flew. Oh, okay. Yeah, this isn't going to work. I mean, maybe it will. It's taking a lot of damage. Oh, one's down. Maybe we've got so many archers that this is actually going to end up working. It worked. Oh, oh, we did it. Nice. So we're now onto the Viking level. We've only got four levels left until we complete the entire first section. That's awesome. Okay, so now we've unlocked the new group of units. So let's see what we can do from here. So Vikings have not really experienced before. They've got some arrows. I think they shoot icy arrows. And then just some normal sort of units. Okay. What are the Minotaurs going to be like on this? Because at the end of the day, I'm not really sure what else I'm going to do. All right. Let's just try them. Oh, they got iced quick. They're still going, though. Kind of. Kind of? I'm not really sure. Yeah. They're still alive. There's a lot. Wait. They pick up the enemies and then hit them. I didn't even know that. That's terrifying, but also pretty cool. Minotaurs are destroying those archers. Okay, all of the archers over here are dead. Actually, I think we've got this. Nice! All right, some more groups. Ooh, these look scary. What, could we just ballista each one? Two, three. Snake archers. So the snake archers, we didn't go up against them, but they shoot snakes. That's pretty actually self-explanatory. Let's do this. We're gonna use these units to group them up a bit and then ballista. Whoa! Okay. I didn't actually kill the people I wanted them to kill. Come on, ballistas. Fire again. Fire again. Come on. Come on! Oh! One left? Really? That was amazingly effective. So it turns out the snakes slow them down enough to get absolutely wrecked by the ballistas. Whoa. Let's try Zeus. What is Zeus going to do for us? What about three Zeuses? Uh, and then we'll just have a line of dudes with stabby things at the back. Zeus's, show me what you got! Whoa. Wait. You're like not really doing a lot of damage though. I mean, you kind of are. It's kind of hard to tell. This Zeus is iced. Come on, kill them! I like this guy just poking with a stick. Oh, he's dead. What is happening? Do they not do any damage or? Come on, come on. Yeah, these big guys are not dying. Actually, I think that they might actually win. Oh, no, we got it. We nearly died, though. That was close one. All right. Well, I think this is the last level of uh, this first section. The longboats are here. Interesting. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a Zeus in the front. And then I'm going to have some ballistas in the back. And then I'm going to couple... Hmm, uh, three snake archers, apparently. Let's try this. If this doesn't work, I'll get rid of the Zeus. Because he doesn't seem to be super... Whoa! Whoa! What the boats? Oh, now the guys are out of their boats? What? Uh-oh. Okay, I think they might have actually won this. Maybe the Zeus is not... I mean, the Zeus killed a ton of them at the beginning. But maybe we should have had them further back. Yeah. Uh, that's a that's an L for us. Whoa! I mean, you got a nice kill there, but... Doink! All right, so we put our Zeus at the back and switched out for Hoplites. So uh, hopefully survive more than two seconds. But they all died, so maybe we need to even ditch them. Um, Zeus is in town now. Holding them back. Come on. Ballista was pretty useless. I actually, I changed my mind. He's doing pretty good. Come on, Zeus. Keep them at bay. Hold the Vikings back. Okay. Zeus is kind of defended by the Ballista in a weird way. Like a shield. Whoa. <laughs> is this guy going to get hit? Oh, if he gets hit. Oh, so I so want to see this. Come on. Come on. Oh, ho, ho. That was beautiful. All right, well, that is officially the introduction campaign uh, completed. We now can go on to the adventure campaign, which has even more factions and characters to check out. So if you guys want to see that, 10,000 likes, and I'll do it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.